Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for joining us today on our behind the scenes video of a photo shoot for a rugged million dollar off-road camper truck that is Earth Roamer. I'm Todd Van Fleet. I'm a professional photographer, designer, artist, adventurer, all kinds of stuff. And this is Design, Shoot, Build. We're a channel about creativity. Today I'm going to be taking you along with me as I capture some shots of this incredible vehicle. So let's get after it. So how the heck did I even land this gig? Well, last summer I was scrolling Instagram and I saw Earth Roamer posted that they were looking for a photographer to collaborate with. And I was like, oh yes, this seems like a dream job. Got all excited about it and I'm like, yes, I'm going to get back. I'm going to reply to them right away. And then I was like, wait a minute, just chill out a second. So I took a deep breath calm my nerves down and I didn't reply to him at least not right away so I actually took some time and I created curated really a custom portfolio just for earth roamer to show them all the cool rigs that I've photographed before and my love of the outdoors and anything off-road anything that would go along with their brand and what they're all about because I knew that I was the perfect guy for this shoot and the cool thing is, is after I did that, I sent him a message on Instagram along with the link, along with an email so that I had dual communication to get to them. And it was a few days before I heard back, honestly. But the cool thing is, here's what their response. I've now looked through close to a thousand portfolios, including many good ones and many from people who think they are photographers and yours, who I feel is one of my favorites by far. I'll definitely be reaching back to you very soon. Guys, he can imagine how excited I was. I'm like doing the happy dance, like woo! Anyways, they replied back. We we exchanged information and we put together the logistics and then made it happen. So, the cool thing is they initially wanted to shoot someplace that had the mountains in the background um, to showcase the rig, you know, the off-roadness. So then I was asking them, you know, what specifically are the images going to be for? And they said they're actually going to use them in a print ad for Jet Setter magazine. And I thought, oh, sweet, Jet Setter Magazine? Well, mountains would be a cool background, but then I thought, dude, what if we shot in an airplane hangar? That'd be pretty sweet. So I called up a buddy who I knew had an airplane hangar and he agreed to it. So we figured out the logistics and then we made it happen. So, so guys, this is one of those things where I'm gonna talk about this in a lot of my videos is that you need to bring ideas and value that your client hasn't thought of before you've always got to go above and beyond that's how i've been able to retain 100 percent of my clients and get referrals from my clients to new clients all right so i'm going to walk you through the shoot and forgive me for this kind of podcast talking head style video but as you can imagine while i was on set with the client i'm not going to stop every five minutes and explain what i'm doing Number one, that'd be rude. Number two, uh, time is valuable and they're paying me for my time. And obviously their time is valuable. So anyways, you're just gonna walk through this with me and I'm gonna describe what I'm doing. All right, so now that we're on set here, what do we do? You know, I'm looking around, trying to figure out where I'm gonna find the best angles and how to set up the rig and how to complement, you know, the, the other things that are in the hangar. So we're using the Canon R5 along with the Canon RF 15 to 35 2.8. Now this lens is pretty perfect for capturing all the wide angle. I can zoom in at 35, really show off the beauty and all the lines of this cool rig. So since I knew we were gonna be shooting indoors, I went ahead and brought a set of my own flash strobe units. So strobes are a whole different animal than these constant lights that we use to shoot the videos here in the studio. I brought these because I knew the ambient light was going to be pretty low in the airport hangar and I really didn't want to have to deal with the industrial fluorescent lights that were in there. And I paired them with umbrellas to help soften the harsh light that the strobes kick out. So the cool thing is, is that the umbrella acts as a light modifier. It spreads the light out over a larger area. This helps create more of a natural looking light. And it's crazy, the light from the strobe actually bounces off the umbrella and then out. You may have seen some that are white or silver or even gold. All of those are gonna give you a different effect. The white's obviously gonna be softer, the silver is gonna give you more brighter, harsh light, and then the gold, you've seen these on reflectors, that gives you more of that natural, warm look. 
Now, I don't use these a ton anymore, mostly just for shooting like large objects, like a giant camper truck, or like a team shot, or a group shot, etc. You get the idea. So the other thing is that I didn't want the camera to be tethered to the lights with a cord. So that's when I busted out the old trusty pocket wizards. Now these are a wireless transmitter system. So I can have one on the hot shoe of my camera and then the other one gets paired and gets wired in to the strobe lights so that there's this wireless connection. It's pretty great. Now throughout the shoot, I'm trying to move around as much as I can and get as many interesting angles that make the truck look giant and actually make it look as cool as it is. We've got shots with the door closed and the door open. And then I wanted to just go ahead and kill all the lights and turn the headlights on and the fog lights and the search lights, all these cool like Baja Designs lights that they have. All the while being super careful of all of the super expensive stuff that's in this hangar. I mean, we're talking, there's some other cool little planes in there, uh, crazy old classic car to watch out for. Now, as I was shooting, I kind of got all the angles that I felt like I needed or that I wanted. And then I was like, I kind of want to move that jet or see if we can move that jet. But I was pretty nervous to ask, honestly. But guess what? You never know until you ask, right? So then I was actually amazed that the guys were like all about it and they were moving it around. I couldn't believe how easy this thing was to move around. All right, so we shot at the hangar for a while and I got what I felt like are all the shots that I wanted to get or that I was gonna get. And we kind of had to book it anyways so we could get some shots with the mountain backdrop at golden hour. So we split, went up the road. So we got here just before golden hour. Now knowing that our sun, our primary light source was actually gonna be behind the truck and it was gonna be setting behind the mountain, I set up the strobes once again to give us some fill light. Side note, uh, I'm pretty in love with my truck and it's got a power outlet in the back of it. So I was able to plug the strobes into that. It's pretty sweet being able to be out in the field and have power. So if you can get a truck, just saying. <laughs> Anyways, I experimented with the lights. I used all the lights. I did some shots with just one of the light and then I did some shots with none of the lights. Then we just used the lights on the truck. We still tracking about how many times I'm talking about lights? Anyways. <laughs> Um, you get the idea. So check this out. We got some pretty sick results. Right, guys if you got some value out of this please subscribe to the channel hit that like button for us oh and if you decide to go buy an earth roamer tell them todd sent you have a creative day <laughs>